guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what we're looking at is flood elevations. You might have noticed in the last video I posted, um, or one of the last videos I posted, a uh, mini split unit, all right, that was hung outside on the side of the building. Uh, the reason that we have that so high is that's on an island, uh, and that island has a very high flood elevation, all right. So I want to say that in reference to installing units in an area that is near water, you want to check to maybe get the uh, homeowner's flood insurance certificate um, and on that you're going to get a flood elevation height all right and there you're going to be able to determine how high the flood elevation is and where you can set your outdoor unit at all right so you cannot go by just the first floor level you know um, a lot of people may think that you can just build a deck and put a condensing unit or a heat pump on the side of a building you know as long as it's above the first floor height you're good well not really, you know, um, those houses are grandfathered in, you know, they were built a while back, they meet the codes from when they were built, but any new add-ons to that building, you need to make sure that uh, they are above the flood elevation, and, and in some instances here, I've seen as high as a foot and a half above flood elevations, well, I've seen a lot higher than than that, but uh, on, a, on a house that might be three or four foot high up off the ground, and you actually have to build a deck that's two foot higher than that, you know, that's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about something that's only six inches off the ground and, you know, you're surprised that it's a foot and a half. No, we're talking about three to four foot high and then another couple feet above above that. Um, so uh, the best thing for you to do when you're selling a job uh, or, you know, you're installing or maybe you're the homeowner, you know, you need to find your flood elevation uh, insurance certificate um, or you need to find the homeowner's flood elevation insurance certificate. Uh, if they have flood insurance, all right. If they own the house out outright, they may just have regular insurance and not any flood insurance. In that case, you're going to have to talk to the uh, building inspector um, or the actually zoning office uh, in reference to to that to find uh, clarification on what they want um, around here. What they want, maybe an additional survey. They may want you to hire a surveyor just in order to get the height. So all this is pretty crazy, right? Um, so you know, it's sometimes we sell jobs where you put the outdoor unit up on the second floor deck, you know, um, you have to take all those things into account when you're selling a job, all right? And you want to educate the homeowner, you know, in reference to what you have to do and the things that you um, are going, the work that you're going to have to do, you know, in order to get this thing done and the thoughts that you have that you are prepared and that you know what you're talking about, all right? So I just wanted to let you know about those things and that's why that that unit was so high up off the ground it was actually the bottom of the unit was actually level with the bottom of a window you know that was uh, about was two foot above the first floor floor level all right where the subfloor was so uh, just so you know that's why we had to put that unit that high up so all right I just want you to know about these flood elevations and, and uh, what you have to take into consideration. Obviously, if you're located in a different area, then it's no big issue, but, um, you know, whether it's a river, or whether it's a, a bay or an ocean, you know, I mean, you want to be aware of these things, and I just want to let you know. All right. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you next time at EC Service Tech Channel.